welcome to the second tutorial mission of The Fate of Hellas. In this mission, you will learn to control forces, use the ability of special units, make traps, and control military equipment. You have a troop of Spartan warriors under your command. They are armed and trained for battle. All you need is to find an enemy. The spies notice an enemy watchman nearby. To give warriors an order to attack, you need to select them. Then place the cursor onto an enemy unit and click the right mouse button. You can also give an order from the orders panel. To do this, you need to click the left mouse button on the corresponding icon in the orders panel. And then on the selected object again with the left mouse button. A group of enemy Siloys is encamped at a height. They occupy a strategic point, important for Spartans. You need to give the order, movement through attack, to attack several enemies at once. Units that receive such an order move to the desired point and attack any enemy met on their way. To give the units an order to move through attack, you need to select the units Click on the icon of attack in the orders panel with the left mouse button and then click on the place you want your units to reach with the left mouse button. Send your warriors to attack enemy Siloy. Now, when the enemies are dead and the hill is not occupied, Spartans can annihilate an enemy patrol that is moving in the canyon in the northwest. Your units are not equipped with ranged weapons. That is why you need to find an alternative way to get rid of an enemy patrol. A helot has arrived, just in time. Helots can construct traps, an excellent method of combat, not against patrols, but against different enemy forces. Traps can be constructed in the same way as the buildings, but their preliminary image also shows the area of potential damage. The higher the trap is placed, the larger the potential area of damage, meaning it is more effective to place traps on slopes of hills and on the edges of canyons and drafts. It is possible to activate the trap manually, but it is also possible to set it in an automatic mode. In the latter case, the trap will snap into action on any enemy unit when they appear in its damage area. Build the traps on the edges of canyons, Make a surprise for the enemy. Whatever you wish. I'm breaking my back.
It's time to move further. We just need to invent a way to penetrate the wall. Sparta has sent a special unit, a warrior, equipped with a siege ladder. With his help, Spartan warriors will easily get over the wall. Select the unit equipped with a ladder. To give them the order to place the ladder against the wall, you need to click on the corresponding icon in the orders panel with the left mouse button, then on the selected part of the wall, but not on watchtowers, gates or towers, with the left mouse button. It is also possible to click with the right mouse button on the needed part of the wall to give the order to place the ladder. Now your warriors can get over the wall. Select them and give the order to move, pointing at any part of the wall, a chariot. It was not very wise to leave it here without care. Select one unit, place the cursor on the chariot and then, when the standard cursor has changed into the action cursor, click on the chariot with the right mouse button. The first unit to get onto the chariot becomes a driver. It is also possible to place a passenger in the chariot. If the passenger is armed with a ranged weapon, he will be able to attack if he remains on the chariot. Chariots can ram infantry by running into them at high speed, but they may sustain damage in doing so. Your units noticed enemies on the hill. Not a bad chance to test the chariot. Troops are under attack! Your warriors have found a catapult. It seems that the Spartans are lucky today. Catapults are excellent vehicles for destroying constructions. Use them to ruin the walls that block your route to an enemy camp.
though an enemy camp is defenseless, give the order to attack enemy buildings. In addition to a catapult attack on constructions, warriors can throw torches towards buildings. The damage from torches is not great, but a big troop is able to destroy even the strongest buildings in a small amount of time. The dock is guarded by only a small troop of Siloy. belongs to Spartans. Order a ship to go there. It'll be better to get away from it by water. The ship is ready. To place your forces on the ship, select them, then place the cursor on the ship and click on it with the left mouse button. The ship itself will sail to the land.